Wow, that's just a <laughs> few weeks ago. Please welcome Sheila and OBGYN Dr. Tais Alabadi to the show. Yes. How are you feeling? I feel like a new woman. Like, I've never even had surgery. I feel great. Yeah. Really? Yeah, no pain, nothing. And this wasn't that long ago. No, like three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Yes. And so, uh, what, what were the symptoms like with your fibroids? Um, I was anemic. I was very, very tired. Um, I was bloated. I felt like there was pressure on my lower abdomen, my lower back. I had hemorrhoids. It was just crazy. And all of that, you, you sense you're already better. I'm better like the next morning when I woke up. We know that uterine fibroids are benign growths in the muscle of the uterine wall, and they can cause a lot of heavy bleeding and pelvic pain and other symptoms. They're really common, particularly in African-American mm -hmm. women. But what's nice is when, we, when women had these larger fibroids in the past, we had to make larger abdominal yeah. incisions. But now, if you find the right OBGYN, mm -hmm. then they can do something minimally invasive, which is definitely beneficial because less blood loss and a quicker recovery. And then you'll be smiling yes. like her. So can you tell us a little bit about the procedure and kind of the selection process? Uh, yes, so when I started practicing for a fibroid uterus this big, the only option was to do a vertical incision. Mm -hmm. So we would cut from the belly button all the way down and leave a big scar on patient's abdomen. That was the only way to just deliver this uterus. Now we do it laparoscopically. I started doing them as an outpatient. I don't even take my patient wow. to the hospital anymore. Remarkable. I don't care what the size is. As long as I can fit the uterus into that uh, containment bag, I can do it as an outpatient. Um, so I use three or four small little incisions, just like we would do laparoscopic, mm -hmm. any other laparoscopic mm -hmm. hysterectomies. Mm -hmm. It took, her case took about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Most of the time was spent on actually taking the specimen out of the abdomen mm -hmm. because it was a very large fibroid uterus and you have to literally, like coring an apple, piece by piece, mm -hmm. you have to take it out of an incision that's about an inch. That's very time consuming, but for her, the recovery is so fast. She was in recovery, I think, for 45 minutes, yeah. went home the same day, and I think she walked. I went walking the third, fourth day. I went, uh, I did a four mile walk. Four yeah. Miles. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Are more and more surgeons in your field getting comfortable with this type of surgery, or is this? Uh, finding someone like yourself who does the procedure in this fashion. You know, you need to be very, very experienced to do this as an outpatient. There are and different that, levels of experience and, and comfort, and not everybody would feel comfortable. Right, right. I'm yeah. sure as part of the consent, there's always a small chance that you have to convert to a bigger procedure. That's why you have to be confident that you can do it. Mm -hmm. For that reason, majority of doctors would do these uh, in the hospital, but I mean, I've done enough of them to feel comfortable. Well, to bring once them again, out. really impressed. And Sheila, most importantly, we're just happy for you. You I'm seem happy. like you I are am in a good place. So happy. I can dance, I can go out now, I'd be a couch potato anymore. I love this. <laughs> I mean, Dr. No. Alvady has to just look at her face. That is, oh, oh, such a happy face. She patient. always Very looks happy. this good, though. Oh, thank you both so much <laughs> for being here.